Hi, everybody. It's Andra, your crazy lady again. And I'm here with Rissel Laredo Rectra. She's a digital content creator and automation specialist. And what I love about her most is that she provides a lot of value to coaches, um, consultants, content creators, and she's just really all about providing value. What I also love about her is she's very much like me. She says what she means and she means what she says, even if it means being mean. So I just want you to welcome Fr Fr Ritzel. Hi, honey, how are you? Hi, hi, Andra. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm okay. <laughs> it's close to midnight right now here where, from where I am. <laughs> wow. So I, I would be asleep at midnight. So <laughs> I, I don't stay up past like, a, I don't know if it's age or what, but like 10 o'clock, that's as far as I go. So I know that you have a lot of um, things that you're always working on. I know that you're working on something that you were sharing with me. Do you want to tell me a little bit about that? Well, um, I'm going to have um, a boot camp coming uh, this November. So that that's what I'm busy about. And I've been uh, yeah, posting bits and pieces about it in my profile. So it, the bootcamp is about, um, it, the title of the bootcamp is Streamlined Automated Onboarding uh, Bootcamp, where my promise would be in five days is that um, I'm going to teach you or yeah, the coaches, course creators, and consultants to design uh, your high ticket client onboarding system, even if your course is low ticket. So the promise is for your um, clients to be, to experience um, VIP treatment uh, when, when they experience your client onboarding. So that is the mini promise of the bootcamp in five days. I so, love yeah. it. That's, that's, that's a very tall order. Um, does it matter what um, system the coaches are using? Yes, because this is designing. So it's like um, we're going to identify all the processes that you have right now and the workflows. When we say process, these are the group of, uh, these are tasks. When we say workflows, these are the steps that you're going to take in order to accomplish that task. So that is to simply put what is a process and what are workflows. So um, in the bootcamp, I'll be teaching about how to streamline uh, your processes and your workflows and identify which part can be automated and uh, which, which part uh, we can leave behind as manual. But then um, in the bootcamp as well is where we are going to uh, select uh, the tools that you can use or the tools that you already have that we can put together, all right? Uh, put together so that we can uh, streamline you, the process itself. And uh, yeah, as, as uh, less expensive as possible. So okay. um, when, yeah. I, I think a lot of people will like that too because the, the Sometimes you have to use many tools is in course creation and onboarding. Um, I do a lot of um, the manual process with onboarding for myself. Um, that nurse in me, I still need to do an assessment with everybody, but I'm sure there's a way to automate that as well. Um, yeah. So yeah, this is something I'm interested in learning. Yes. So I'll be yeah. at this at this for sure. So tell me what else. Tell me more. Tell me more. <laughs> so there is no shortcut to this unless uh, you ask me to do it for your uh, business or, you know, uh, to implement it or design it for you and build the system for you according to your business model. So in the bootcamp, I actually be uh, talking about the ISDA framework. Uh, that I use to create my own streamlined automated client onboarding system as a service provider. 
and now as a uh, budding course creator because I'm starting to create my own bootcamp oh I want to I want to teach I want to add more value to the community I want to teach what I know because as as um uh, most of the people know that I've been introducing myself as uh, my, my personal life as a system consultant because I'm a system consultant in the corporate world for almost 30 years now so it's like why not marry what I'm doing as an online entrepreneur and uh, what I'm doing in the corporate world so like this ISDA framework um, is a simplified version of what I do in the corporate world so I apply it okay I simplified it so that it can be used in everyday life, not only in business, but actually my son is using it now <laughs> for his school, yeah, on how he manage his, um, you know, his, uh, because he's on homeschooled. So I asked him to create your learning, your, your, your study system, okay, to design your study system and see how you're going to streamline how you study how you spend your time in studying and uh, yeah, how, how uh, use tools that can help you review so that you won't have any anxiety when you're doing the review itself because you are well, you know, well, well um, informed of your lessons, past lessons and all that. So he applied it in his life. I applied it in my life simplified and, uh, the previous people or the the previous bootcamp all the people that um most of the people that attended that said that they had applied it um yeah benefited actually from the bootcamp itself so that's the promise of the bootcamp that's my promise when uh, you attend the bootcamp <laughs> okay so you're going to show people how to do it but they will have to work with you to understand the process Yes, yes, correct. Yeah. No, not not necessarily, but in the five days, you'll be able to uh, do the actual uh, designing of your system. You'll have gonna have like uh, um, um, create your or document your SOP. When we say SOP, this is your standard operating procedure. Because if you identify your processes, your task, all right, and the subsequent uh steps for the task to be completed that is an sop already I like you, it. You, 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 yeah it'll be your sop like you're just going to tweak it later on to actually streamline like i'm going to be teaching you like uh to decide whether is this task um can be removed if if you remove this will it uh uh but how to say, will it uh, destroy something? Yeah, yeah. Will will it destroy the flow, or can it be done in another manner? So you're gonna, I, I'm going to be teaching you that. And as the and uh, another another uh, aspect of the the boot camp is where we are going to identify if you do the the day one, day two until day five. Um, in day three, I think you'll be able to identify which workflow to automate. And then in day four is where we're going to put together um, your process, your workflows, and what tools you have selected that will match such workflows to be put together. So designing. Implementation is totally different we cannot we cannot <laughs> implement in five days that is outside okay. so they would definitely need, they would need yeah. to work with you for implementation because it's it's not a i know that because it's your work and, and it's easy for you you're making it sound very easy but there's a lot of people um especially new coaches or, or consultants that are in the online space they feel a little flabbergasted or overwhelmed when it comes to tech. Not everybody, even in this age, is tech savvy. When I first yeah, came quite online. True. Yes, quite true. When I first came online, it, it was very difficult to get used to automating and, and 
certain tools are harder than others. Um, so yeah, I can yeah I can understand that people would have difficulty if they're not used to doing it, and and then being on camera and stuff like that. It's it's all processed. But I like how you have your son using the tool in a similar area of his life because if it does really you can really apply this to any other thing not just your business so so it's a really good tool to to learn so i like that yeah so So i i I sda framework yeah so (laughs) i sda framework stands for i is for identify (laughs) or identify your process existing existing processes uh and workflows so s is where you select um sure go ahead i have s um, is where you select. Mm-hmm. i have laryngitis but my throat is very scratchy for the last two days you have to drink like warm water or something honey 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 and green tea but yeah. I shouldn't be talking as much and I'm a little bit of a bladder mouth. So that's that's kind of hard. So <laughs> I'm trying not to uh, get the best of myself. Oh, I don't wear makeup. So, okay. I have on something right. today that I don't usually wear. So it's probably going to run mm-hmm. down my face, but that's another story. Sorry to interrupt you. Go ahead, my dear. All right. So so I've, I've talked about uh, the I for, from the ISDA framework. I is the identify where you identify or list down all your processes and your workflows in then uh, creating uh, your own SOP, okay? And then in the S, S is where you select, okay? Select means um, you select which tools. So I'm going to be teaching you how to select a tool, proper tool. And then... um, also, we'll be teaching you how to select which workflows to automate. So there is a step that you need to go through uh, to identify those. Now, in D is where we design. Design means you put together the ones that you've identified, uh, the one that you, uh, your workflows that you've identified, meaning your SOPs and your, and your tools, okay? And the workflows that you want to automate. So you're going to match match the tools together with the, the 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 correct workflows that you want to automate. Now in the A, A is apply. So in the bootcamp, apply, I'm gonna just talk about how you're gonna how you're gonna build it, the good idea of how you're going to build it. It's either you build it, you have your VA build it, or you 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 can hire me to build it, <laughs> or we can build it together. All right. So that's the, the 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 A part there because the A is where we get our hands dirty and we cannot do that in five days. So it's either um I'm thinking if I'm gonna create another course for the A, which is the apply or the build and test, uh that if there are clamors or or rave for that, I mean then I can create the course for the how to to actually build the client onboarding uh, system the way that I'm doing it or the way that I did it for the bootcamp as well for my bootcamp. I think you're going to yeah. need to start building that course. I think there's going to be clamors. I think this is I, I do because I think that I think that it's very needed. Um, everybody wants a process that um, that flows, I- including the client. So people don't want to wait. They want something that flows nicely, something that's attractive and something that says that they're valued. So if you can create, help people create a system like that, then that's a lot of value that you're providing. You know, and and, and, and it's going to continue to be used. So even if it takes time to set up initially, it's something that they're going to use in their business business consistently even if they change tools they will have now learned the skill in how to do the sop and how to apply it and design it so it's it's a lot of value yeah so So my mm -hmm. go ahead go go ahead ahead. baby i'm sorry 
<laughs> so it's like my examples uh, when 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 I did the bootcamp. My example for my attendees last time was that. Um, did you know that uh, even creating or even uh, preparing your breakfast is a system? Okay, it's a process. Preparing breakfast is the step. I meaning the task. Okay, now the steps to actually prepare the breakfast are your workflows. Like for example, what are in your breakfast? You got say fried rice. You you have to cook your omelet or whatever. And then you're gonna make your coffee. So all these three becomes your workflows, right? One workflow, when you do your fried rice, you have a lot of steps to do, isn't it? Similar. Now this girl, she doesn't to... eat fried anything. <laughs> 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 so that's not me. So I would have a very simple process, scrambling some eggs and add, throwing in lots of vegetables. But I like it. Correct. But that is a workflow as well. Your task would be to prepare breakfast. Your yes. workflow is to scramble the egg and prepare the egg and cook the egg, right? Those are the steps for that workflow the egg so that is to just to simplify or or to make people imagine um what is workflow what is process because if if people people think that when we say automation it's very complicated i can't do that or it's very expensive not really and it's not for big companies it can be done um, for small businesses like ours, like for me, for example, when I started, I I'm try I I'm onboarding clients and spending like one hour or two hours to onboard total from 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 start to finish. When I say onboard, from the time that the client tries to inquire, right? So I'm gonna produce something for her, isn't it? And then we're gonna jump on a call. I have to schedule it manually for her, right? Then after that, she says, yes, I'm going to write the contract. I'm going to write the invoice and I'm going to send it to her manually. After that, she will pay me. And then I'm going to send her another email asking for uh, whatever access she uh, I would need for her to, 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 to do my job. So it's like how many overheads, how many time spent already before I actually do the job for her. So for me, those are time wasted. If I had automated that one, which I already did, right? Now, the 1.5 hours that I spent there is now spent on doing the actual task, which means I can then add more clients in my roster. I can yeah. serve more clients now, right? So that, that that's the point. I, I well, yes, we want to do things efficiently. Is is um, we don't want anything that's that time consuming. Um, it, my onboarding right. process now doesn't take an hour and a half. Um, thank God. Um, so <laughs> thank God, I wouldn't be able to see anyone. So, um, so I also know that you do a YouTube channel, right? So I, I, cause I want, I want the audience to get to know who Ritzel is also. So I know you do a YouTube channel, you know, and what is it that you do on YouTube? Do you discuss your automation or your digital content? What, what is it you do there? Well, the my account in YouTube, actually my channel in YouTube is all about the uh, weekly show that I have, the Talking Business with Ritz, where I do um, live experts interview. I believe you were one of my guests. I haven't yes. uploaded hours, <laughs> I think. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, um, I, 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 I interview people um to share their expertise or their 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 expertise with the online community so actually the goal is to give back to the online community of entrepreneurs to you know uh, as i always said in the talk show i i want to help people to move their needle even just a little bit 
though I don't know it, you know, I don't know most of the things the experts know. The problem, uh, the 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 goal is uh, get people on my channel to share their expertise with the world. Another aim of this weekly show is to really highlight the human behind the title before the offer. So that's that that that's what I'm after for that. Well, that's that's very good of you. Um, I do something similar with, with this because I, I think that as people we should really give back. And I know as a service provider myself and, and someone who's been in healthcare for a long time that okay. I'm not for everybody. So I, I don't believe that I can help everyone. So I, I want to help in another way and give them people that can. So I have um, my own thing where I highlight people like yourself and other coaches and authors and all kinds of people just because I think that people need to have you know there's a lot of bad in the world you know and we turn on the tv or the news and that's what we all we always hear but yeah this is a way of providing value and showing the good in the world because anybody that shows up to help and provide a service gives value it, it, it's not something bad it's something wonderful that they spend time giving of themselves to their community would you agree yeah yes yes very much and uh I am a a, a, a giver <laughs> yes you I are. am a giver and I can't help it <laughs> I know I know sometimes sometimes we we have to take a little too you know um I forgot the name I think it's the go-giver I can't remember because I, I read so many books. It's crazy. I just joined a book club too. Um, I think it's the goal giver that says in order to receive, to give, you have to be a good receiver as well. So you have to allow things in like um, you can't always be the one that compliments. You have to accept compliments that there has to be a balance. So you you can't be the one that's always giving. So we have to learn to accept too. So it's part of it. And I'm working on that. I'm working on the compliment part and accepting things. It's not, you know, acceptance is a, a whole nother story. So, yeah. so is there it's anything else? Sometimes, you know? I know <laughs> it is. To do that. It, it, it's unbelievable. I had um, a woman on, and she, uh, Miss Kapoor, she was here with me. Artha, Arthava Kapoor. I don't want to mispronounce her name. She'll kill me. Um, but she teaches you about like self-love and she said, you know, hug yourself in the morning. It starts with there, like embrace who you are and all this stuff. So I said, well, what do I got to lose with trying, right? So I said, okay, I can hug myself in the morning. But you know what? It does really help me feel better throughout the day that, you know, because it, it's almost like saying I've got my back, you know? that it's okay. You still, you always have yourself. It's amazing. Yes, but, but it's good. So in order for you to accept things from other people, you have to be kind and accept things from yourself as well. So um, that's something I wasn't good at either. Like uh, if someone said, you don't do this well, I would internalize that. But if they said you do a good job, oh, don't be silly, you know? So I, I'm learning. It's a process. So yeah. I, I'm very excited about your YouTube. I'm going to check you out there. Uh, I know I was there um, and I've seen a lot of other coaches, Coach Marjean, who I, yeah. I, I love. I'm very fond of my Facebook hero. She helps me whenever I get in a Facebook jam, she helps me out. Um, yeah. So it's great. There's a lot of great providers out there. So is there anything yeah. else that you'd like to tell the audience, like where they can meet you and where they can find you on Facebook. All right. Um, I'm going to invite them again <laughs> for the bootcamp. So I'm gonna, uh, I want to invite everyone uh, November 21 to 25, which I will be teaching how to systematically streamline your processes and optimize your workflow. So you'll be able to design a high ticket client onboarding system that is ready to be automated. So again, that is November 21 to 25. 10 a.m. EST. 
Now there is a small investment to attend the boot camp that will be ten dollars, and half of the proceeds will go to a nonprofit organization in Bondo, Kenya. So this organization is called Together with One Accord (CBO). Uh, it is headed by uh, Eunice Chando. Uh, my dear friend, I've been helping this organization since 2018. So I've been taking care of their social media until recently because I've been busy. So the goal is to help them come up with the fans, funds sorry, to acquire a box of menstrual products to be distributed to girls in Bondo, Kenya to keep them in school. So it's just $10 of your investment. You'll learn my ISDA framework to design your high ticket client uh, onboarding system even if you are onboarding low ticket clients and you'll be able to help these um, well-deserved girls in Bondo, Kenya and uh, yeah help them keep them in school so I believe in the saying that education is the great equalizer between the rich and the poor so I grew up with a not so well. I grew up with a not so well of uh, you know family where every month money is spent from hand to mouth. So I know how it feels to be lacking, but still want to finish school. So I repeat to see you on November twenty one to twenty five, uh, ten a.m. EST. That's only ten dollars, so you can help these people. Uh, and also, yeah, <laughs> learn my ISDA framework. So you can reach me at um, my uh, profile, personal profile, that's Ritzel uh, Loretta Rectra, and also at my YouTube channel. Uh, I have a handle, uh, Ritzel Rectra. So that's that's how they can reach me. You can DM me directly. I tried to put well. in my handle. It wouldn't save it. I think it was the Wi-Fi at my job. You reminded me I got to do that. <laughs> I, was, yeah, I was at lunch. Your handle. But, yeah. <laughs> But I, I want my handle to change. I don't want my name. My name is everywhere. So I, I think, you know, I think it's great that even um, in your teaching that you're finding a way to help other people. So good on you, because I, I think that's great. You're giving back even there. Um, I donate to the Unstoppable Foundation because I just think it's amazing. One of Mary Morrissey's uh, big projects. So I, I think it's great what you're doing. So I'm, we're going to Thanks. say goodbye to them. I am going to pop your, you told them here, I am going to pop your links on all the pages so that everybody could see that. And this will go to YouTube. So we'll load it up to you and we'll load it up to me. And everybody will see what Ritzel's doing these days. And I will right. be attending. I will be attending that because that's something I, I'm always looking for better ways to serve. So if this is going to be less complicated, um, the process is not that complicated for me, what, the, the process that I'm using, but I don't know how it is for other people because I'm not on the receiving end, I'm on the giving end. So I, I would like to try both processes and, and see which is quicker, which is, which is um, better for the, for the customer, the client, you know, because you, you don't want yeah. clients to have a hard time reaching you. That's kind of goes All against right. what we're doing here. We want everything to just right. move and flow smoothly. All right. So I'm going to yeah. shut this off, but you are going to stay. I got to put on my glasses for that. Oh, people, we don't see so well. <laughs> Hang on one minute, honey. Okay. All right. All right. So let's close.